Hey everybody, um, just little old me again. This is part two to the video on hormones. Here's the deal. This time I'm going to actually take my shots, my pills, etc, etc, etc. You all know how to take your pills. I mean, come on, really, you've probably been doing it forever. But YouTube has been cutting my, my videos saying that they're too long. So I had to do this in a two-part section. Let's get down to it because, you know, I don't want to overrun time again. Trust me, they mean it when they say 15 minutes. First, we take a normal piece of toilet paper, fold it into squares. And, of course, you can see the estrogen vial underneath here. See? Okay. The reason that we're wrapping this across the top and, you know, a normal pair of household fingernail clippers put it around the top. The reason that we're doing it this way is because this vial is actually going to explode. Well, not explode. It's going to like break all over the freaking place. Um, and glass is going to get all over the place. So, over our little trash can here. And open vial. Okay. Set that off to the side and clear our tissue. Honey, would you put that over there, please? Yes, I was showing that. <clears throat> I'm gonna need that table in just a moment, baby. Okay, now, we take the syringe with the yellow top, um, the yellow needle. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna take a shower. I love you. Love you too. Okay, we're going to draw our medication now. Yeah, my wife is like really bored with hearing all this because she she has heard it like three times already in trying to record the other videos that YouTube blocked. Okay, draw our medication here. Now the reason that I'm tilting my vial is so that I can actually see what's, what's left in there and hopefully draw all of the estrogen out. And I'm tapping it because there's little glass shards that I want to get to the bottom of the vial. Because inside those glass shards is also small amounts of estrogen. I know it's hard to see all this, but, you know, because my fingers are in the way. The reason that I did it, I have to do it this way is because my fingers, my hand is broken. I cannot bend these knuckles, so... I have to kind of tilt it this way and you know etc cetera, etc cetera. but as you can see here all that little weird looking stuff in the bottom that kind of looks like a gel that's glass shards okay we are finished with that part with the serum in the syringe you want to pull it down just a little bit further to get any estrogen that was left in the into the needle here. Okay? Take off the top of the needle and make sure that it's recapped first. It's always best to recap the needle first. And we're going to just stick that on our biohazard containment box. And we're going to put on our new needle. It has a gray top. This is the uh, 22 gauge needle. And there we go. <clears throat> now, where's my alcohol swab? Crap, she moved stuff around. Sorry, my wife moved a lot of things around and we are at five minutes here. So, gotta hurry just a little. Okay. 
we are going to take a normal alcohol pad and swab our injection area. Okay? Yeah, I take it in the back side. So, be wary. Here it goes. Now, if you get queasy at the side of shots, you might not want to watch this. First, we want to clean our injection site. Normally, I would clean this for about 30 seconds, but in the interest of time, I'm skipping the 30 second cleaning. And next, oof, yeah, I'm like tilting off to the side here so that I don't contaminate the area that I just cleaned. Um, push the serum, push all of the air out of the serum back into the needle without pushing the serum out of the top of the needle. Okay? Now, we're actually going to take our shot. Now, I have found that if you release, if you shift your weight onto the opposite foot as the side that you're, you're taking your shot, then the needle goes in a lot better. It doesn't hurt quite as much. Now, the way that I take my shots is kind of to the side of, of your hind area, um, the back side of it all, and yeah, it seems to work better. You don't want to go straight on. We're actually pushing the estrogen in now. You don't want to go straight on and you don't want to come in directly from the side because there's a lot of nerves and uh, bone and all of these other things over there. We want to get right into the muscle. And that is a very muscle. Uh, this part of the, the buttocks is very, very full of muscles. Okay. Now, I know it seems weird. Why would I do this? Okay. The reason for this is to show you. Yes, I am actually taking this medication. I am not just like hanging it off my backside or something like that with a piece of tape or something. You saw me actually stick it in. You saw it hanging there. Okay, now, before you pull the needle out, and it's always best if you have someone's help, you want to oh, prepare to, to cover that area. You know, just in case you're bleeding or something, put pressure on it for 10 seconds. I don't know if I'm actually bleeding or not. So I put pressure on, on the site um, for 10 seconds regardless. That way if I am bleeding, and most likely you will bleed. Now, I don't know if I'm still bleeding or not because I can't see that. So I'm going to go ahead and put more pressure on it. Uh, there we go. I'll put more pressure on it. And the biohazard container. Because this is a blood-soaked piece of uh, alcohol, we want to put this directly into the biohazard container. Anything that has blood on it, put it in the container, okay? Anything that has any sort of body fluids, put it into the container. Once again, blood on the tissue, guess where it's going? Our friendly neighborhood biohazard container. These containers are not just for, uh, it's not just for doing drugs or, you know, for doctors or whatever these things. You can actually find these containers at Walmart. Uh, I believe you can find them at Walgreens, Kmart, or all of our fine retailers such as this. <laughs> I think they were like $10. I can't remember. Um, the top. I personally like to take off the needle head 
and once again because it's been inside of my body into the container and finally our draw syringe into the container everything that might have blood on it goes into the container finally after I take all of my after I take my shots then we want to take you remember this right this is my spiritone 100 my anti-antigen okay and second will be my microgest this is the pill and finally my multivitamin this is my prenatal vitamin okay and with all of these things just a quick again my coffee salut mm -hmm. God, I hate taking pills. Get a mouthful of water or tea, coffee, soda, something, really, and pop the pills in. Take it with a full, uh, with enough fluid in your mouth that you don't actually take taste the pill. It makes it so much easier to take. Um, that is really it. Now you've seen what my medication is and how I take it, when I take it. I take my progest my estrogen twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday, 7.30 a.m., uh, twice a week in the morning. My progesterone, I take 10 days a month. Uh, normally I take it starting on the 20th to the 30th. That's the only time I take it, and I only take it in the morning. Third, my prenatal vitamins, my multivitamins, I take them every morning. And finally, my anti-antigen. I take one pill in the morning, one pill at night, every day. It's absolutely wonderful. Do not. In the last video, I showed you my patches and my shots. Uh, do not take both. Don't. That's like overdosing on estrogen, and yes, that can be bad. It can cause a lot of very bad things to go wrong, okay? Don't do it. I can't go into why, what all those bad things are, but basically, it can kill you. Okay? I would hope that would be enough reason not to do it. Um, I think that's it. As always, if you have any questions about anything, um, you know, what is it like to walk down the street? What is it like to come out? How do you tweeze your eyebrows? And yes, we will get into the eyebrows, the makeup, the um, how to get nice skin, how to make your skin look nice even when it's not. Because see, um, in case you can't tell. <laughs> I have a lot of little scars here and I have not had hair removal I have another scar right here and a lot of other things that I have to cover with my makeup so we'll get into that next time and I will see y'all on the next video okay thanks for tuning in love you bye